today we're going to be showing you how to install an Escort Redline 360C radar detector. Hi, I'm Jennifer and you're watching the Corvette channel. This is my new toy, my 2006 XLR, which is really a Corvette underneath. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Scott and today we're going to be showing you how to install an Escort Redline 360C radar detector as well as a blend mount uh, mounting bracket for the radar detector that's going to go onto the mirror. So come on into the car and we're going to start showing you how to do it. All right guys, we're in the car now. We went ahead and we took the top off. This gives me a little more room, more, more so for you guys to be able to film it if John needs to be able to get the camera over here. Um, but what we're going to have to do, we have a, uh, it's a mirror power tap that we're going to use for the radar detector. And then that way we're not having to use a cigarette lighter. Okay. Um, so you'd want to make sure that you do this part of it first before you put the bracket on because the bra bracket would be in your way. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to use again, we, you see me always using these nylon pry tools. If you don't already have a set and you're working on your car, you need to go down to Harbor Freight and get your set of, uh, set of these because they're worth their weight in gold. So first thing we're going to do here, we've got to gain access to the power behind and above this mirror. So we're going to go right up here. We're going to get right up in here like so. And we're going to go right here if I can get up in there and get it on my side. But we want to and get right there like that and then you can just pry this down just like that and I'm gonna pull this open on my side over here doing the same thing we're gonna get it down it's like that okay and then you'll be able to pull this down you just got to wiggle it down just be careful but you will be able to get it free Sounds like sounds like you're tearing the car apart, but if you're careful, it you'll be fine. But they're just little spring clips in there. And we've got one right over here that's trying to be a little monster. As it pops right off and you can see right here we've got the four little clips okay now I've done this before and I've had some where these clips actually stay up inside and um, and then you'll have to pull them back out and pop them back on here but not a big deal okay now what you've got is you've got one more little cover that's right here and this usually comes off really easy you can see it, it just kind of came loose already and it, once you get it down there, you can kind of pull the wires down from the roof a little bit. And if you can see right there, you can just pull it. Usually it'll come, it'll just come out just like that. But if not, there's just a couple little clips here. You can push those over out of the way and then this will pop out, okay? So you get that out of the way. And now, if you can see right here, I believe it's right here, there's a little press tab right there. See that? Okay that will release this plug. So you can push in right there. If I can do that, there we go, and that separates. Okay, just like that. Now, you wanna try to pull that wire down just as much as you possibly can, because I usually leave a little bit in there, and there is a little bit there. Okay, and what we're gonna do is this big plug is the side of the mirror, this is the power side. So you're gonna, we're gonna be tapping into this side of the plug. Okay, um, so what we're going to do here is on this particular particular one on a C7, the purple wire is your power wire. You can see that one right there. Okay, and then you also have a black wire, which is your ground wire. Okay, now on our wire tap, our power tap here, we've got red and black. So what we're going to be doing is black to black and red to purple. 
Now, these sockets are extremely tight and you're not just gonna be able to put that, and you're not just gonna be able to slide this little guy up in there real easy. So what you have to do is take yourself like a small little screwdriver, uh, you know, like you'd get out of a eyeglass kit or something like that. And then you can go into the plug and you can, let me see if I can try to, see if I can show you this. Um, no, it's kind of hard to, for me to show you and but you can see what I'm doing here. Let me turn this around. All I'm doing is I'm going to put that into the plug and I'm just going to wiggle it over. I'm just going to kind of bend the plug a little bit so that way I'm making a little bit of room in there like that. And I'm going to do that on the purple and the black one. Okay. And then once I've got that, I should be able to get the, get the wires to actually tap in there. Okay, so I'm gonna turn it around so I can actually see something for a second so I don't mess up John's plug. Okay, and the black wire's right there. And we're gonna do the same thing. Okay, so now we've got, we've used our screwdriver to wedge that open a little bit so we can get our taps in. And so we're going to take the negative wire, the black wire, and put it into the black. And sometimes these will be a little temperamental. There we go. And then what you want to do is take a pair of needle nose and just push it down in there just like so okay and then you're gonna go ahead and do the red over here to the purple like that and then use your needle nose to push it all the way down at that point we should be t we should be all all set to go now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test this just going to go ahead and I'm going to plug this thing back in and like that and then we're going to plug the radar detector plug it into the radar detector and then I'm going to have John go ahead and start the car and we've got power hi everybody you guys all see Terry and I doing these installations on these videos as we show you how to go about doing it. And I'm always saying that if you guys don't want to do this yourself, don't want to tackle it yourself, to reach out and we'll give you a quote on how to do it. Well, a lot of you guys have done that. And in doing so, um, we are now very busy doing this and we've actually turned this into a business. So um, if you are needing anything done as far as, you know, like you've seen us do a front nose, you've seen us do wings, you've seen us do aero kits, all that type of stuff, reach out to us, we'll get you a quote. If you're in this area, man, we'll be happy to take care of you. Um, and we've also had some people contact us from uh, Florida, from Yosemite, from Los Angeles, and people are bringing their cars um, all the way as far as Las Vegas. Um, for us to do the, the work. So um, I haven't ever really advertised that. I always have just kind of in passing, I just say, oh, you know, if you want us to do it, reach out, we'll give you a quote. But we are fully going forward with that and, and it's turning out to be a pretty, pretty cool little deal. Um, most of the people know that by doing what we're doing, they know we know what we're doing because they've seen us actually do the work. And so I've actually offered People that have been far enough away have offered to say, hey, you know, be sure to tell your body shop, um, don't do this, do this, don't do that, whatever it may be, just to make sure that they don't do any damage to the car. And people are saying, no, nope, we just want you guys to do it. So um, if you guys knew, are in need of any of this type of work being done, let me know, reach out to me. I'm going to get that information right here on the screen and we'll be happy to help you. All right, guys, the next step here is that we're going to go ahead and we're going to take this plug and we're going to put it back into this cap. Now, before I did that, you can see right here, I notched this cap a little bit here just so it will make room for the wire to go through and it'll still allow the cap to hook back onto the back of the mirror. So all I'm going to do here is I'm just putting this back in 
and you'll see how that goes in there it, and it'll just snap in place just like that okay and then at that point you're pushing your your connector right up there like so there we go just like that there's two little clips there's one up here on this side and there's one right over here on this side that's got to get locked in place if they don't want to if if you don't get your wire adjusted right then you it won't go in there so so now we've got our wire ready to go here and so now we just need to go ahead and put this this cover back on okay and that just goes on like that okay and then we're ready to go ahead and put the the radar detector bracket on Hi everybody, this is Scott from the Corvette Channel. Take a look at our new wind restrictor that we just put in John's car. It was custom made and helped us be designed by the uh, graphic arts department at Wind Restrictor. And Anne over there was able to take our thoughts and what we were describing to her and what we wanted and she was able to put it together to give us this. And I think it's just awesome. So if you want to be able to do this for yourself and get something custom made or just a regular one at that just reach out to wind restrictor i'm going to put their information down here on the screen be sure and mention corvette channel when you order it and you'll receive your 10 percent discount all right guys now that we've got our cover on uh we just want to go ahead before we we want to test this to make sure our circuit's still good after we were up in here before we put the bracket on so we're just going to go ahead and we're just going to plug it into the radar detector again and then John's going to go ahead and start the car. He's multitasking here. And there you go. Okay. Now let me point something out to you guys. When you guys are tapping into this um, and you go to do this test, you've got to start the car. You can't do this with just hitting the engine start button and it going to accessory mode. The radar detector will not come on. So you have to start the car and then it actually energizes it. So that way you'll you'll get the right you know you have the right wires okay all right so on to the next step I, when i bought this mount for um for john i was looking on amazon and amazon has it listed the the wrong part number is listed on amazon for c7 so i actually called blend mount to make sure that i had the right mount and the right mount for a c7 corvette is a bmg 2027 um, so you want to make sure that you get the right mount. You can get them from Amazon. You can put in the search for that number and you'll get it, but it won't, it'll say that it doesn't fit your car. So just be aware that it is the 2027. Okay. Now, um, it comes with the radar detector itself comes with a suction cup mount that goes on the window and you, in order to be able to use the blend mount bracket, it comes with everything you need to be able to, to use it except for the magnetic mount piece itself. So you have to take that magnetic mount piece off of the suction cup. Okay, and so you just take that loose and you set this off to the side because you don't need that anymore. And you're going to end up putting it here. You're going to take these two screws loose and you're going to mount it right here like that. Okay. Um, now, while I'm doing that, let me tell you a little story here. Um, the reason that you want to, people are probably asking, well, why do you even care that you mount it on the mirror and not just on the suction cup? There's a lot of states that will allow you to do that. That's not a problem, but I happen to live in California. And years go, years go back, uh, back into the 70s, uh, where the... Uh, the, ra the radar was not allowed, and everyone wanted radar and be able to have radar detectors. The Highway Patrol, they, at the time, the only people that could use radar was city police um, or the sheriff. Um, and the Highway Patrol had to clock you. And so they wanted, uh, they wanted to be able to have um, the radar guns, and we wanted to be able to have radar. So they, they settled on a deal that allowed the um the people uh, you know as people to be able to have a radar detectors legally but the uh but the sh 
the, and the police were able to start having radar guns. The only trick was, and was that when they told us that we could have our uh, radar detectors, they told us that we can't mount anything to our windshield with a suction cup. So yeah, we could have a radar detector. All the radar detectors were coming with suction cup mounts, but if you mounted it to your windshield, you'd get a ticket anyhow. So that was the reason that you um, that we are doing the mounts on the mirrors because this way we can still have a radar detector, radar detector, but we're still legal because it's mounted to the mirror. So you can see right here how I've got these screws adjusted. This is a this screw right here is allows it to be able to do a swing to adjust it for center or side to side, and I've got this all the way extended up as far as I can get it, and it'll be just enough to be able to get around the neck. Once we get that down, we'll we'll suck this screw up to tighten it down, and then we'll tighten this screw back up into there also, and then that way we'll be able to get it secure. So John's going to move the mirror or the camera over there. I'm going to try to get my fingers out of the way so you guys can see that. See if I can get that without. So you can kind of see what we're talking about. Sometimes I feel like I need four, four more hands here, guys. All right. All right. So now we got that one. Now we're going to move over to the other screw. Alright. That looks pretty tight. Feels pretty tight. Looks good. It's nice and solid. It's looking straight out. Okay, then we can get on there with the from this angle here like that tighten these down okay all right we're pretty much ready to go here now all this is just fine tuning now what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and we're going to take the the radar detector we're going to hook it on to its bracket and then what we're going to do is we're going to adjust this. This screws a little bit. There we go. So what you're trying to do here is you want to be able to adjust your, you're going to probably be able to adjust your mirror about like so, somewhere in that ballpark. But you want to be able to be able to fight your false alarms that you will get. I mean, it just does happen. So there's a mute button that's right here. And you want to be able to get your finger underneath the mirror. Because you could adjust it all the way up there like that. And this will drive you crazy because you can't get to that mute button. So uh, so you want to make it so you get it about like so. So now at that point, John, if you show him over here on the side of the camera, you can see how the bracket pretty much is looking here. It's, uh, you know, all these different angles are all set up like that. We're pretty much flat. So you can start to tighten these up. See if I can get my get my hands to work here. All right, so now let's get it kind of where you think you're gonna want it, somewhere in that ballpark right there. I'm gonna guess. Okay, and you want to have your radar detector as level as possible. Okay. Somewhere in that ballpark. So anyway, at this point, we are tight. That's good to go. Um, you can just lift this up and off. Um, you have to adjust your mirror. You can just lift this up and off there like that. And then you just put it on just like that. So if you have multiple cars and you want to be able to have, you know, these things aren't cheap, and you can just move this from car to car. Okay, and then we just take our cable here. And what I've done here is I've taken it and I wrap it around like that. So it's just not, there's nothing flopping around everything looks really nice nice and clean and you're good to go so um, hopefully that helps you guys um, I think this is a very great uh, very great mount um, it, it is very 
very spendy for the amount of for the bracket, but it does do does do a good job. So um, you know, I got to give credit where credit's due. Anyway, uh, guys, hopefully this this video helped you. I know I've had a lot of people ask me about how this is done and how you go about doing it, and hopefully this makes it a lot more simple for you. So, uh, guys, thanks for watching. You guys have a great day. Thank you for watching the Corvette channel. Don't forget to hit subscribe.